here and this link. I sent Ryu's use Fireball to you so you know how to poke against Ryu's use Fireball. I want you to see th something interesting about it. Do you see what the fr first frame looks like? Uh, frame zero? Oh, okay, he moves forward. No, right. no, I'm not forward. I'm not the first, but like frame zero, yeah, do you see? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he has like a hurt box at his, what is, what I'm assuming is his hand. That's it's his extended hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one that's a problem. And then, uh, yeah, like his front leg has a pretty wide hurt box wrapped around it. Mm -hmm. So when Ryu throws a fireball, like in Street Fighter F V, remember my Hadouken magic? In my Hadouken mag magic, I was able to throw fireballs and their foot would pass right through my leg, right? Yeah. The game designers don't want you to play Ryu like that in this game as much, right? On purpose, yeah. they don't they don't want that play style, so that's why they put that there. Okay. Now, just click all the way through until frame 44 and just click on your own and notice how much you know how much he's extended and how you can poke him yes um you don't get to see the fireball projectile you know animation but you do get to see where to hit him you know so <clears throat> to conclude on this hadouken one look at uh frame 11 and 12 and compare 11 and 12. Okay. yeah so i was going to tell you it was weird because i see you he's sliding forward he's doing his electric slide forward and all of a sudden he starts sliding back yes yeah he starts sliding so that means um that means there's more deception you, you can apply right there. That's really weird. And it's like, he's not even back to his, like, standing place either. <laughs> yes. So... A little bit in front of him. Yeah. What? That's so weird. So, I think this is a way... This is basically a simulation of Street Fighter 4's uh, hitbox, hip, um, fireball hitbox, or hurtbox uh, change. Because in Street Fighter 4, if I'm correct... I, I, didn't, I haven't seen a website like this for Street Fighter 4, so I don't know exactly how it looks. But the theory is that Ryu becomes two times as fat, standing in the same place. So like his his back is, and everything, the first hitbox is in the same spot, but then he doubles in size in front of him. Yeah. And, and this in this scenario, he moves forward as if he doubled in size in Street Fighter 4. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what I think they did. I think they just try to simulate it without literally making a huge square around his body so that's mm -hmm. all just have fun looking at these different hitboxes I, uh you might want to look at dalsim a little bit more since you play against lucky d uh, there's one specific frame in one of these one of those dalsim ones um uh jumping fierce punch attacks or some airborne attack his hurt box is all the way pointed up and his attack box is pointed down downwards and and I, I've been trying to think, how can I hit those hurt boxes, you know? <laughs> well, what do you think about this uh, overall? This, you know, just seeing it, you know, what's your overall assessment of did this? How much did this help you? You know, I don't yeah, it's like shattered my context because I, I, I knew something was missing, and it was definitely this, like, just being able to play the game um, and understand you know, the, the intricacies like that that I, you can't see on the screen. And, and now it seems like more than ever, this is a, this is really important because in four, it, it seemed like you know playing like you know and visually trying to hit boxes, it did work. But in this game, it's so deceptive, and I feel like we're trying to make it as even as possible for newcomers versus veterans. That you know throws off the veteran players, and then it gives the new players enough time to get adjusted to you know a new fighting game or you know a new. Uh, like, a, I guess, a competitive field, you know? Some people playing this game have never played a game competitively before. So. Well, if you want to emphasize that point, or I want to emphasize that point, so that that point, we can emphasize it by and, and show evidence of it by... Uh, I don't know if you're still there, but you can go to Ryu's Crouch Medium Kick. Yep. And you can see... And tell me what you see about his Crouch Medium Kick. Tell me what's... what what type of uh, high level player or like you know experienced player thing they removed from that move okay so the hurt box comes out frame before the hitbox and the hurt box hurt box is extended past the hitbox and it stays oh my god it stays retracted and he moves back <laughs> not just that notice he doesn't uh, low profile Oh yeah, you're right. Cause there's like a big fat, <laughs> there's like a fat mountain of squares by his shoulder. And did you see the deviant, the deviant art version of that hitbox? Um, no, I didn't actually. All right, I'm gonna get that for you right Does now. Does it look completely different? What? Does it look completely different? I feel like they just take the best looking, uh, frames. You know, yeah, frames, and then they're like, 
oh yeah, you know, yeah, this will make sense. And they just throw it there. I, like, <laughs> yeah, I, that's what Event Hubs did, I think. Um, here it is. I want you to see, so you can put that. Oh, by the way, you can use these these images to overlap onto that website, and you can get a better idea of what's going on. All right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a little forward, right? So here, yeah, I'm going to give you the... So let's explain why Karen's stand light kick just de decimates Ryu in low forward range. That's why I think that's our best button. And the conversions I've come with, I've, I've done off of it, it's just a matter of me understanding hit boxes and her boxes, and then I can amplify my consistency. Yes, and these. so that's what I do. That's why my Chung Li was a little bit more unique than other Chung Li's is uh, because I was using Chung Li's stand light kick the same way. And, and Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4. Uh, so let's let's look at the Deviant Art hitbox images for Ryu's low forward, please. Okay. Um, so we can... I just want to move on and wrap up the call. <clears throat> Do you... I gave you the link, right? Yeah, I have to pull it up. I have to close these other tabs. Uh, all right. Yep, I got it up. That's funny. Do you see, do you see how much her box is above his head? It's almost 50%. Damn. So my stand medium kick with, like, Karen would probably be really good at go forward with Ryu. Stand medium? Oh, I, I don't remember the hitbox, but... Uh... Yeah, because yeah, because um, the bottom of your attack box would interact with the top of my low forward, you know, like that corner, the corner, the corner yeah. of the green. Yeah, it would interact right there, and you can poke. Yeah, because uh, although hers, her her box is extended past it, but it, it completely like bypasses the my attack box. Yeah. Yeah, it just glides right over it. Yeah, so as long as you can glide right over it, then yeah, you can be you can be close. You don't have to poke from far. You can be closer as long as these don't interact in a way that they attack each other. Yeah. Yeah. 